Assalamu alaikum students. I hope all of you are well. Today is our lesson number 2 of unit number 9 introduction to coordinate geometry. Presented by your teacher Humaira Batool from SLS Zaraj campus. After this lesson you people will be able to know how to apply the distance formula to show the collinearity of 3 or more points in the plane and how to apply the distance formula to different shapes of a triangle. Collinear points. Let us see we have two planes which could be extended indefinitely from all sides. Now if we take two points on any of these planes passing through a line L then the points P and Q are called collinear points with respect to the line L. But if we have a point R, now the point R is non-collinear with respect to the line L. Therefore, point P and Q are collinear with respect to the line L, but point P and R are non-collinear with respect to it. So we can make a conclusion, two or more than two points which lie on the same straight line are called collinear points with respect to that line. Otherwise, they are non-collinear. Okay students, now let us see how to apply the distance formula to show the collinearity of three or more points in the plane. Let P, Q and R be three points in the plane. Points P, Q and R would be collinear if the distance P, Q plus the distance Q, R is equal to the distance P, R. Otherwise they are non-collinear. Let us see how. Here we have three points P, Q and R. If we join them like this, now the distance PQ is when added to the distance QR will give you the distance PR. For example, if this distance, is, this distance is 3 and this one is 3. So if we add them, we will have PR as 6. On the other side, if we have the points P, Q and R like this, now they will form a triangle if they are non-collinear. For example, if the side PR is 3 and the side QR is also 3, if we add these two sides, it will give you 6 and the sum of this side will be greater than the third side. Now let us solve an example. Use distance formula to show that the points P, Q and R are collinear points. Now we have to use the distance formula to find out the distance PQ, QR and PR. So students, here we have found the distance PQ as 2 square root 5. Then we have found the distance QR as square root 5 and the distance PR is 3 square root 5. So let us see, if we add the side PQ and QR, it will give you 3 square root 5. That is 2 square root 5 plus square root 5 is equal to 3 square root 5. And the third side, PR, is already 3 square root 5. So, the points P, Q and R are collinear points. Okay students, now we are going to see how to apply the distance formula to verify whether or not the points given are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. So, the definition of isosceles triangle is an isosceles triangle PQR is a triangle which has two of its sides with equal lengths while the third side has a different length. The triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle as for the non-collinear points P minus 1 0, Q 1 0 and R 0 1 as shown in the figure. So students, here we have just plotted the points P, Q and R and we have joined them. So we found this triangle P, Q, R. Here the scale we have selected is 4 square blocks along both axes is equals to 1 unit. Now students, we just have to apply the distance formula to find out the distances P, Q, Q, R and P, R. So the distance P, Q is 2 as we have applied the distance formula and we have found the distance PQ as 2. Similarly, we have applied the distance formula and we found the QR as square root 2. And then we have applied the distance formula to find out the distance PR which is also square root 2. As you can see, two of the sides are same. So our condition is fulfilled. 
Therefore, the side QR and the side PR is square root 2 while the side PQ is different. So the non-collinear points P, Q and R form an isosceles triangle PQR as two of the sides are same. Ok students, now we are going to see how to apply the distance formula to verify whether or not the points given are the vertices of a right angle triangle. The definition of a right angle triangle is a triangle in which one of the angles has a mayor equals to 90 degrees called a right angle triangle. So let us solve an example. Let O00, P-30 and Q02 be the three non-collinear points. Verify that the triangle OPQ is a right angle triangle as shown in the figure. So students, here we just have plotted the given points and we have joined them. The scale we have taken over here is two square blocks along both axes equals to one unit. So when we joined the points, we found this triangle. So what we have to do? Now we have to apply the distance formula to find out the distances OQ, OP and PQ. So the distance OQ, after applying the distance formula, we have found it as 2. And the distance OP is 3. Similarly, when we apply the distance formula to the points P and Q, the distance found as square root 13. Okay students, now what we have to do? We have to prove that one of the angle in this triangle is 90 degree. So for this, what we have to prove? We have to prove the Pythagoras theorem. As you know that hypotenuse square is equals to the base square plus perpendicular square. So here, if we see this angle would be a right angle and the side opposite to this angle is the side PQ. So hypotenuse over here is PQ and we can take OP as base and OQ as perpendicular. So students, if we see OQ square is equals to 2 square and OP square would be 3 square. So solving this will give you 13 as square of 2 is 4 and square of 3 is 9. So 4 plus 9 will give you 13. And the third side or we can say the hypotenuse PQ is square root 13. If we take its square, square would be cancelled with the square root and PQ square is equals to 13. So Pythagoras theorem is proved here which, which proves that angle POQ is equals to the 90 degree. Hence the given non-collinear points form a right angle triangle. Now what we are going to do? We are going to see how to apply the distance formula to verify whether or not the points given are the vertices of a scalene triangle. A triangle is called a scalene triangle if the measures of all the three sides are different. So the points P12, point Q-21 and the point R21 form a scalene triangle as shown in the figure. So in this figure, we just have plotted the points P, Q and R by taking the scale as two square blocks along both axes is equals to one unit. So when we join the point P, R, Q and the point Q and R and the point Q and P, we found this triangle. Students, what we have to do? Now we have to apply the distance formula to find out the distance P, Q, Q, R and P, R. So here we have applied the distance formula and the distance P, Q found is square root 10. The distance QR found is 4 and the distance PR found as square root 2. So as you can see, all the three distances are different. Therefore, the side PQ is square root 10, side QR is 4 and the side PR is square root 2. The points PQ and R are non-collinear since PQ plus QR is definitely greater than PR. Fine. Thus, the given points form a scalene triangle. Ok students, now we are going to see how to apply the distance formula to verify whether or not the points given are the vertices of an equilateral triangle. The definition of equilateral triangle is, if the lengths of all three sides of a triangle are same, then the triangle is called an equilateral triangle. 
verify whether or not the points 0 0 the point a square root 3 1 and the point b square root 3 minus 1 are the vertices of vertices of an equilateral triangle so students hopefully the concept is very clear to you now you can solve this question at your own and definitely you can solve the relevant questions from exercise 9.2 at your own stay home stay safe thank you allah hafiz